Welcome to the Magnolia Minute. I'm Corey Poole and today I have with me Detective Victor Pinckney with the Natchitoches Police Department's High Tech Crime Unit. How are you? All right. Now you're here today to talk to us about something that really gets a lot of people, scams. Yes, ma'am. And particularly uh, fake money scams. Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. And that's probably, that's got to be one of the worst ones. <laughs> It's w real bad right now. Yeah. It's real bad. So tell us, like, what what's going on? People are just using fake currency around town? Well, they're able to either order it offline or some people are taking a cheaper route and printing it. Uh, the printed money is more easy to, it's easier to um, catch mm -hmm. because it's not on the right material. Uh, the money offline is real hard to detect. It's even beating some of the pins and ultraviolet lights now. So you really have to pay attention um, to the signs that are on it. Mm -hmm. um, some of them have fake money on it, but it's just so small that um, you can't see it. Yeah, and sometimes, like, if you get multiple bills, you know, they'll all have the same serial number or... <laughs> Correct. Um, most of the time they have the same serial number. Most of the bills we're collecting now, we match up each bill. They're not coming with the same serial number, which means that a lot of people are on them offline. Mm -hmm. And now this is businesses are receiving some of these bills? We have several businesses within the city of Natchitoches that have received these bills that we're currently investigating and we've made several arrests on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know in the past you've made an arrest uh, where it was a transaction between someone, you know, two people, like through an internet sale. Correct, correct. I mean, just be careful when you go online to post your things to sell. Um, the people that you're meeting up with, make sure you protect yourself and be able to detect fake money or detect where there's going to be violence. Um, the police department offers a uh, location where you can meet up and sell your goods or um, have that money checked. I would, I wouldn't even, I would even suggest bringing it by having it checked first. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know, that's I know I'm always telling people like use that safe transaction like parking lot right. right there by the police department because it really does make it a lot safer for you. Yes, yes, and that's what it's for. Yeah. Now I know besides the cash scam, what are some of the other scams we see come through? Well, my desk is full right now with the social security scam. Uh -huh. um, um, identity theft is the number one crime in the U.S. Period. So. It's, it's bad here in Nagdish as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then I know uh, a lot of people try and scam the elderly out of money. Correct, the, through the phone calls, um, and those are some of the hardest ones to trace because most of those are people in Jamaica or mm -hmm. different countries that don't have to really abide by the laws that we have. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then I do remember a while back there was a city like utility scam. Correct. We we kind of got a hold on that. Um, <laughs> once again, we had to call in outside agencies um, because it stretched further than our jurisdiction mm -hmm. allowed us to reach. Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's all about following those those trails, whether they're digital or not. Correct. And it, I mean, it's getting more difficult in time, especially with the um, counterfeit money. So yeah, just be careful. Take your time. Um, and check the money. Yeah, and if someone does receive some fake money, who do they reach out to? Uh, you can reach out to the Nagdish Police Department if it's within the city of Nagdish. Uh, you could call 318-352-8101. Um, if you're in out in the parish, you could reach out to the Sheriff's Department. Okay, perfect, and they start up an investigation from there. Correct, it does, and normally it'll fall on either my desk or somebody that I know is this. So. Yeah, yeah. And then I know y'all work together a lot of the times with oh, the sheriff's yes, office. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we try to collaborate, especially with the counterfeit money. Yeah. To If we could get some serial numbers that match, we could put an end to some of the cases. Perfect. All right. Yes, well, there you have it. Take a look at those bills you're receiving. And I know, you know, sometimes you're in a hurry, but Really pay attention to the details, right? Yes, ma'am. All yes, right. And as always, thanks for watching. 